for victims of crime, what are the types of civil lawsuits that can be brought, and what are the defenses? Do you have one of these cause of actions available to you if you were a victim of crime? Let's discuss it. Hi, I'm Larry DiMarco. I'm a personal injury, workers' compensation, and family law attorney in Pennsylvania. There are various types of claims that a crime victim can bring. Whenever a crime happens under the criminal code, there's a corresponding civil tort. Let's go over some of the common crimes. Assault, putting someone in fear for injury with the ability to inflict that injury. Battery, intentional harmful physical contact. This includes all the violent sex crimes of molestation, fondling, indecent assault, rape, and attempted murder. A common defense is self-defense. The person committing the battery was defending themselves. Another, wrongful death. This includes murder, manslaughter, and negligent vehicular homicide. Another claim, false imprisonment, which is holding someone against their will for any length of time, however brief. The crimes would be rape, kidnapping, illegal and illegal strip searches. Other group, intentional or reckless infliction of emotional distress. This involves extreme and outrageous or offensive conduct which causes emotional trauma, anxiety, and pain. An example of crime is stalking cases. Another is fraud, which is an intentional representation made to deceive the victim resulting in damages. This applies to the crime of theft by deception and white collar crimes, telemarketing schemes, Ponzi schemes, and racketeering. Another category, conversion. This is theft or destruction of personal property or money. The corresponding crimes refer to embezzlement, concealment, which is hiding someone's property, and larceny. Let's talk about negligence. This is a legal term for carelessness which causes injury. It's the same theory for the common car accident and slip and fall. For crime victim cases, the most common uses of negligent claims is for negligent security and negligent hiring, which fails to present a crime. You have to argue negligence if you want to trigger insurance, which will then ensure that someone or something will be able to pay the judgment. There's also defenses to these civil actions. The crime victim's carelessness can be a complete defense or can reduce a covery. The complete defense is called contributory negligence and a partial reduction is called comparative negligence. Another complete defense is called assumption of the risk, meaning that the victim knowingly and voluntarily, voluntarily took a known risk. Some organizations or people have immunity from lawsuit, like government agencies, or employers from losses from their employees. For a crime victim, there's a potential civil cause of action for all these crimes. Contact the Law Center if you're interested in pursuing a civil claim and want to know more about your rights. I hope you found this information helpful. Please watch other videos on my YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for new videos. To learn more about my legal services, click the links in the description section of this YouTube video or on one of the video links on your screen. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.